The Hindenburg tragedy, one of the most infamous airship disasters in history, happened on May 6, 1937. Join us as Facts First History presents What Really Caused the Hindenburg Disaster? See the rare footage left behind. How the Hindenburg Came to Be The Hindenburg was a massive German airship that was constructed in the 1930s. It was named after the German president, Paul von Hindenburg, and was one of the most iconic airships of its time. But its story is tragically remembered for the Hindenburg disaster, a catastrophic event that occurred May 6, 1937. The idea of building the Hindenburg and its sister ship, the Graf Zeppelin II, originated in the 1920s, when Germany was looking for ways to regain its position in the aviation industry after World War I. The Luftschiffbau Zeppelin Company, led by Count Ferdinand von Zeppelin's successor, Dr. Hugo Eckener, spearheaded the project. Construction of the Hindenburg began in 1931 at the Zeppelin Works in Friedrichshafen, Germany. The airship was designed by Ludwig Dürer, and its structure consisted of a rigid framework made of duralumin, a lightweight aluminum alloy. The framework was covered in a fabric skin made of cotton and linen, which was then coated with a mixture of cellulose acetate and aluminum powder to make it airtight and fire-resistant. The Hindenburg was enormous, measuring about 804 feet in length with a diameter of 135 feet. It had a gas capacity of 7 million cubic feet and was powered by four 16-cylinder diesel engines, which allowed it to reach a maximum speed of 84 miles per hour. The interior was luxurious and included various amenities to offer passengers a comfortable and upscale travel experience. It had sleeping cabins, a dining room, a lounge, a bar, a smoking room, and even a promenade area where passengers could take in the view from large windows. It made its maiden voyage March 4, 1936, from Friedrichshafen to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It completed several successful transatlantic flights and gained popularity as a luxurious and efficient mode of travel. The airship regularly crossed the Atlantic, shuttling passengers between Germany and the U.S. The Hindenburg attracted a diverse range of passengers, mainly due to its reputation as a luxurious and prestigious mode of travel. On board, you'd find a mix of wealthy people, celebrities, professionals, even some government officials. The airship offered an extravagant experience, and passengers described it as a floating hotel. It had 72 sleeping berths, which could be converted into private cabins, allowing passengers to rest and sleep during long flights. The cabins had comfortable beds, plush furnishings, and amenities like writing desks and storage spaces. What it was like on the Hindenburg The Hindenburg's dining room was an elegant space decorated with fine linens, china, and crystal. Passengers were served gourmet meals prepared by a team of chefs. The dining experience was lavish and catered to the tastes of affluent passengers. Adjacent to the dining room was a spacious lounge area where passengers could relax, socialize, and enjoy panoramic views through large windows. The lounge was tastefully decorated with comfortable seating, stylish furniture, and decorative elements. It provided a cozy, luxurious atmosphere for passengers. One of the interesting features of the Hindenburg was its smoking room, a dedicated area for smokers. It was equipped with comfortable chairs and ashtrays, as well as ventilation systems to keep the air clean. Smoking was allowed on board, and passengers could enjoy their cigars or cigarettes in this designated space. There was also a bar. The bar was staffed by pro bartenders who catered to passengers' preferences. On May 6, 1937, tragedy struck during the Hindenburg's attempt to dock at the Naval Air Station in Lakehurst, New Jersey. As it approached the mooring mast, a sudden and devastating fire broke out. The cause of the fire has been a subject of debate, but it's believed to have been ignited by a discharge of static electricity that ignited leaking hydrogen gas. The fire spread rapidly, engulfing the Hindenburg within seconds. The airship crashed to the ground, killing 36 people, including 13 passengers, 22 crew members, and one ground crewman. The incident marked the end of an era of airship travel, as public confidence in the safety of these massive aircraft was shattered. The Hindenburg Tragedy the voyages of the Hindenburg were often watched by onlookers, especially during arrival and departure. The immense size and majestic presence drew attention everywhere. Spectators would gather to witness the arrival or departure, often capturing it through photographs or film. 
When tragedy struck on May 6, 1937, there were approximately 1,000 people present, including journalists, photographers, and spectators. The airship suddenly caught fire and was engulfed in flames, resulting in a devastating crash. Eyewitnesses describe a sense of shock, horror, and disbelief as they watched the disaster unfold. Many were panicking, frantically searching for loved ones, or trying to assist those on board. The scene was chaotic and filled with smoke, fire, and debris. Some people rushed to help the survivors, while others could only watch in horror. The tragedy had a profound impact on those who witnessed it, and the shocking images and news spread quickly, leading to a widespread sense of grief and mourning. It remains one of the most significant incidents in aviation history. The Hindenburg tragedy had a significant impact on various aspects of the world at the time. It effectively ended the era of commercial airship travel. It shattered public confidence in the safety and viability of airships. Following the incident, airship travel declined rapidly and the industry never recovered. The decline led to a greater focus on airplane travel. Airplanes were considered faster, more efficient, and safer alternatives. The Hindenburg disaster prompted a thorough investigation into the cause of the accident. That led to significant advancements in safety regulations for aviation, including stricter protocols for the use of flammable materials, improved fire suppression systems, and enhanced emergency procedures. But the exact cause is still uncertain. Several theories have been proposed. The most widely accepted is the fire was sparked by a combination of factors, including the highly flammable hydrogen gas used to lift the airship, the outer skin material, and a possible ignition source. The prevailing theory suggests that a spark or static discharge ignited the hydrogen gas that filled the airship. Hydrogen is highly flammable, and it's believed that a buildup of static electricity, potentially caused by atmospheric conditions or the airship's metal framework, created a spark that ignited the gas. Another theory proposes that the Hindenburg was sabotaged intentionally. This theory suggests that a deliberate act, such as the use of an incendiary device, caused the fire. But this theory lacks substantial evidence, and the majority of experts don't consider it likely. Finally, some researchers have suggested that a lightning strike caused the fire. But this theory is not widely accepted, as there's no conclusive evidence of a lightning strike at the time of the incident. It's important to note that investigations conducted after the disaster had limitations due to the destruction of the airship and the lack of comprehensive evidence. The most widely supported theory remains the ignition of hydrogen gas, but the exact sequence of events leading to the fire is still a subject of debate among experts. Depictions in the Media Several movies have been made about the disaster. One notable one is The Hindenburg, released in 1975. This movie is a fictionalized account of the events leading to the tragedy and incorporates elements of mystery and sabotage. Another, Hindenburg, The Last Flight, was released in 2011. This German production focuses on the final voyage of the Hindenburg and presents a fictionalized investigative storyline to uncover the cause of the disaster. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know that the Hindenburg tragedy has never been fully explained? Let us know in the comments section below.